Welcome back, everybody. This morning on Robson Reports, the controversial new device that for police that can tell if you are texting while you're driving. It's, it's meant to improve safety, but is it also an invasion of your privacy? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with more on that. Jeff, this is a little controversial. It's very controversial. A lot of people talking about this. It's called the Textalizer. You guys actually talked about it on Trending recently. Now we're getting our first look. Think of it like a breathalyzer but for your phone, tracking every tap and click you make. Police would use it to see if you were texting and driving and distracted. The Textalizer would allow officers to get that information from your phone right on the spot, right on the street without a warrant. This morning, you're about to see how it works. Watch this head-on collision caught on camera in Massachusetts. Police say the driver admitted she was texting when she slammed into this Jeep. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. And this driver in Florida swerving across the road before hitting a tree and flipping over. He was able to crawl out to safety, admitting to police he was using his phone. Texting and driving is illegal in 47 states and D.C. Now, this new device called the Textalizer is aiming to crack down. So how does it work? To show you, we're here at the headquarters of the company that developed this new technology. It's called Celebrite. And this is the CEO right here, Jim Grady. Thanks for joining us. Hello. And this is the textalizer in your hand right this here. This is it. About the size of an iPad. Yes. All right, so if you were the officer on the scene of an accident, what would you do? How would this work? I'd say, sir, please plug this into your phone. Would I have to, would I have to do it? Well, like the breathalyzer, you know, there are consequences if you choose not to. There are penalties if I say no? Yes. Okay, so what, is, what does it do? It will record all the touches and swipes on your phone, but get no data at all about what you typed or, 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 or what you received and who you typed to. But you'll know if I swiped on an app or what app I was using? Yes. Even in the previous minutes before the accident? Yes. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see if this works. Let me unplug that for a second. So we're gonna do a little demo here. Like I said, we're at their headquarters and we blocked off this entire big parking lot. So when you see me texting and on the phone and Facebook messaging, don't get concerned, I'm not on the real road. I'm gonna hop in there and we're gonna see if it actually works. Okay, here we go. Don't try this at home. First up, I send a message on WhatsApp. Hey, Chris, how are you? I check out Facebook. One of my favorites. I even answer a call. Hello. And send a text message too. Hi, how is it going? Sent. When I'm done wreaking havoc in the parking lot, I pull over and we plug in the textalizer. Phone data is being analyzed. All right. I can see that you opened WhatsApp at 2.45. Uh, there were several Facebook activity. You received an incoming call at 2.59 and you sent an SMS at 3 o'clock. So police could pinpoint down to you were driving then and that was a minute before the accident. Yes, and that's very important. But privacy advocates say it's just too intrusive and police should need a warrant for that kind of access. There's no guarantee when you hand up your cell phone over to a police officer that that officer won't be looking at or copying all kinds of personal data about you. When we talked to the critics, we explained we're not getting anything about what was said in the text or who it was said to, just the touches and swipes. It is still a prototype. The company uh, wants police to have the textalizer, but they can't have it until states pass legislation allowing it. Right now, lawmakers in New York are trying to do just that. And under the bill, your license could be suspended if you refuse to hand over your phone. Now, lawmakers in New Jersey, Tennessee, and the city of Chicago, they want to do it too. So in your introduction, you said texting and driving is illegal in 47 states. Yeah. We immediately went and started <laughs> yes. to Google this. So what is it? It's Missouri partial ban. Arizona. And Montana. Yeah. So there you have it. But most states, it's illegal. But where are the states where it's not illegal? <laughs> I, I mean, know. you know, it's a dangerous yeah. thing and you see what can happen. Right, Interesting. Jeff, thanks, thank Jeff. you very much. What? Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.